Is there anything, I, I, I as you look back on your career, that, that you were certain that you were 100% correct at the time, that later on you said, had an aha moment that said, oh, no, oh, shoot, I, I, was, I was good intended, but I was wrong on this, and now I've changed. Was, was there any moments like that? And well, just and this isn't golf specific, but this is certainly science and biomechanics uh, specific. So as a young biomechanics professor, I would teach that muscles are agonists and antagonists. And if you understand their activation and force, you will be able to describe human. As I evolved, I realized that that didn't explain. So it will explain a very slow movement and uh, perhaps with a moderate load but it never explained high performance sport. So remember, I was the guy measuring the role of all of these muscles and how they created the final execution of speed and power and balance and whatnot in the, in the sport. Um, and it wasn't until I appreciated that there are no, this separation of a muscle being an antagonist or an, an agonist. They're all agonists. And then I realized that there are many muscles that don't even connect to the skeleton. They only connect to the fascia and the fascia is tightened and loosened, I could show you with an experiment. Say you did have neurogenic facilitation of your psoas muscle because of chronic back pain. I could show you that we could load that muscle and you could stretch it and it really wouldn't release until we took your hand, put it overhead with a very strict arm push, bent away from the, if it were talking about the left psoas, bend to your right, drop the left shoulder back, it's the left arm that's pushing to the ceiling, then push the heel of the hand to the ceiling and internally and externally rotate the arm. And now tell me if you can feel the psoas change. Some people, it won't matter. They don't have a strong anterior line of fascia. The next person, it goes from pain with internal rotation to no pain with external rotation, a heavy fascial connection. So now you start to realize that to release that psoas, you better release that whole chain on some people. So it was that. I, it really pulled together the idea of technique.